secret to be discovered on the east coast of Spain. It boasts bright lights, blue skies and turquoise seashores, and has a very elegant name. Its local tourist board published an advertisement recently that's difficult to ignore. It read, smile, you're in Valencia. However, the sun is not the only luring thing about this part of the world. Valencia is in fact a bit of Barcelona, a bit of Madrid, complemented by an ever-ending green recreational park, a futuristic museum complex, numerous beaches and all the usual treats of a modern dynamic city. And the best thing is, it's size. Getting to the charming city is a piece of cake. Due to low-cost airlines, if you book early enough you can pack in the hubby, the kids and even the granny because the airport is small, manageable and just a stone's throw from the city. And the good news? There's a brand new metro service that brings you straight into the centre in just under 15 minutes. The word Geary is used by the Spanish folk to describe a foreign tourist. Normally a pink skinned sock and sandal wearing type. Well although Valencia has its fair share, it's nothing like what you'd encounter in Salou or Malaga. Which means when looking for accommodation, you can be sure of competitive prices. Five minutes on a good search engine, you can come across everything from self-catering luxury apartments to fully equipped hostels. Spain's third biggest city is rich in history. From Renaissance palaces to medieval churches, there are plenty of monuments, art galleries and museums at your disposal and most of them are free. There's also a fresh buzzing market that claims to be the prettiest in Europe and even a world heritage site which is right here behind me the Lonja de la Seda. After some tasty tapas and a well-deserved caña, it's time to hit the beach. On the way, it's advisable to take a photo of Calatrava's much-debated City of Arts and Sciences and take a stroll along the port. The latter, recently renovated in honour of the Americans' Cup and the Formula One, is a feast for the eyes and an array of around-the-clock entertainment. As there's so much going on in the city centre, from cultural festivals to wine tasting ones, it's kind of easy to forget about Valencia's beaches. And the great thing about Spain is the day is split into two parts. You've got the pre and the post siesta period, which means the shops are open till very late, so I can chill out here for a little while more and then have a snoop around for a souvenir. But when the sun goes in and the night lights are turned on is when you really witness Valencia. Late dinners, disco bars and endless street fiestas are just a glimpse of what's in store. And the clubs go on till the early hours of the morning. <laughs> 